superficial, there is the uh, dematitious fungi uh, and the uh, hair shaft piedra. We will talk first uh, this diagram to make the, um, the easy. Uh, we can see here to the right, this is the picture of Tinea nigra. Clinically, irregular brownish black macule on the palm. Caused by P. vernicii. And um, now, in brief, the uh, dematitious fungi, fungi are pigment producing fungi. It's, uh, example, Tinea nigra. It's blackish brown patch, uh, positive KOH. For the hair shaft, there is the piedra. The piedra is, uh, we find uh, beading of the hair shaft, either black piedra or white piedra. The black piedra is hard, the white black piedra is soft. Uh, organism is piedra horti, uh, here uh, trichosporum begelii, and uh, the treatment of piedra horti, uh, uh, first before treatment, uh, it is the pathogenic, uh, the perfect state, and uh, uh, treatment is difficult, but we, we make cutting of the whole, whole hair and uh, with benzoic acid. So this is a, um, a diagram. Now we will talk about them in some details, about the uh, dematitious fungi and about the piedra. First the dematitious fungi. Fungi can be classif classified based on pigmentation of mycelial structure into fungi without pigment, hyaline, and fungi with melanin in their cell wall, dark colored, dematitious. Uh, Dematitious fungi here are uh, classified also into phyohyphomycosis, which are either superficial, like tinea nigra and plaque piedra, and uh, subcutaneous and systemic. This is the phyohyphomycosis. There is also the black grain eomycetoma and the chromoblastomycosis. So the presentation of dematitious fungi there are three types, phyohyphomycosis, black grain eomycetoma, and chromoblastomycosis. The phyohyphomycosis is like superficial and cutaneous. The superficial is the tinea nigra and black piadra that we will talk about. The tinea nigra is one of the superficial phyohyphomycosis and is caused by black, black yeast uh, phyoanilomyce uh, vernicii. And um, uh, clinically characterized by sharply demarcated uh, asymptomatic non-scaly brown or black macules, mainly on the palms and soles, uh, and uh, it, uh, it resembles silver nitrate stains or melanoma. Diagnosis by direct COH, gun culture, and histopathology. Direct COH skills reveals direct pigment uh, septate hyphae and budding cells, and culture on Sabaro glucose agar revealed two phase of growth, early pigmented yeast phase that show microscopically dematitious two-celled uh, two uh, yeast structure and later hyphal mold phase show microscopically septate dark hyphae. Uh, and the uh, histopathology, the hyphae are present in the stratum corneum with minimal inflammatory action in the derms, like the tinea, and the treatment also is topical imidazoles, cyclopyroxolamine. This is the tinea nigra. Okay, what about the piedra? The piedra, as we said, there are two types of piedra. Black piedra and white piedra. The piedra or tinea nodosa or trichosporosis, uh, it's a fungal infection confined to the hair shaft or scalp, beard and mustache with formation of superficial nodules. Piedra uh, is uh, stone. Uh, it means stone. So there is the black piedra and white piedra. The black piedra, piedra yahorti, the uh, white piedra is trichosporon begelii. Uh, the uh, black piedra, piedra yahorti, which is uh, related to superficial uh, uh, mycosis. And the trichosporum begelii, in some cases, may be sexually transmitted and increase carriage of um, 
the organism in perianal region in HIV infection. It is found in South America and Asia, tropical humid areas. Clinically, the black piedra is asymptomatic, ready, hard, black, multiple, firmly adherent nodules on the hair shaft. And uh, while the white piedra is white to tan, soft nodules along the hair shaft and can be easily pulled from the hair. So it is the, uh, the white is white and soft and easily pulled. The black is black and hard and firmly adherent. The cuticle is invaded uh, with possible hair breakage. Uh, also, the diagnosis is by K direct KOH culture and, micro uh, and uh, a microscopic examination of the colony. And uh, the uh, KOH uh, for the white piedra is mixture of yeast hyphae, pseudo hyphae, and arthrospores. The uh, black piedra densely packed uh, rhomboid cells resembling arthroconidia and branching pigmented hyphae. Arthroconidia and branching pigmented hyphae. It is, this is the only fungal organism in which the sexual spores are found in the parasitic phase, the patient. So it's the only sexual uh, spores are found in the parasitic phase, the black piedra. Uh, culture, there is dark colonies, of course, for the black piedra, elevated at the center, and for the white piedra, there is creamy, wrinkled colonies. Microscopic, there is, uh, for the black piedra, uh, septate dark hyphae with intercalary swelling chlamydospores, and for the uh, white piedra, it is septate hyphae with... Um, and uh, uh, the differential diagnosis also, uh, there is differential diagnosis, and the uh, treatment is cutting of the infected hair and benzoic acid compound. So this is in briefly the black piedra and white piedra. Again, we will see this diagram, superficial. There is the dematicious fungi, pigment producing, tinea nigra, blackish brown, brownish patch, positive KOH, and for the hair shaft piadra, beading of the hair shaft, either white piadra or black piadra, black is hard and um, uh, adherent, and white is soft and easily pulled. And uh, the organism here is piadraya horti, and here trichosporum bergelii. The piadraya horti is only patho pathogenic and the perfect state. Treatment is difficult by cutting the hair and benzoic acid. Rahim, antifungals. Uh, we will talk about the, the topical antifungal uh, treatment and the systemic antifungal treatment. The topical antifungal treatment, uh, there is with mainly uh, anti-dermatophyte action and with mainly anti-candidal action and with broad spectrum activity against dermatophyte candida and Petrie's versicolor. First, we will talk about the with mainly anti-dermatophyte action. There is the white field ointment, salicylic acid 3 as keratolytic, benzoic acid 6 as fungistatic, side effect irritation, systemic absorption will lead to salicylism. There is the Castellani paint, uh, which has magenta red basic uh, phosphine, uh, boric acid, phenol, uh, uh, resorcinal, and uh, uh, alcohol acetone and aqua. Uh, eliminating uh, the phosphine uh, uh, makes it colorless without loss of activity. It has also antibacterial action and uh, specially used for intertrigenous areas, intertrigenous tinea pedis. Side effects, staining, irritation, and toxic reactions to phenol avoided in infants. So this is the most important two uh, topical treatments for the anti-dermatophyte. White field ointment, salicylic acid 3, keratolytic, and benzoic acid 6 as fungistatic, and also the uh, Castellani paint, uh, magenta red boric acid phenol resorcinal and alcohol acetone aqua and uh, with the side effect of irritation staining and toxic reactions to phenol with mainly anti-candidal anti action there is the gentian violet and nystatin and potassium permanganate 1 over 5000 solution uh, the gentian violet 1% in aqueous or alcoholic solution it is also antibacterial action uh, staining and irritation are the main drawbacks the nystatin and the potassium permanganate, one over 5,000 solution, non-specific antifungal activity, mainly in inflammatory candidiasis of intertrigenous areas. So this is the uh, anti-candidal action. For mainly uh, anti-petriase, for uh, petriase versicolor action is selenium sulfide, 2.5%, uh, zinc pyrithione, and sodium thiosulfate, 20%. 
The selenium sulfide 2.5% and zinc pyrethione used also in superior dermatitis. And for sodium thiosulfate 20%. What about the broad spectrum activity against dermatophyte candida and petrase versicolor? First, uh, the uh, cyclopyroxolamine uh, cream or butrafin, it acts by inhibition of the senses of uh, cell membranes, proteins, and also has antibacterial, anti-inflammatory uh, activity. So it is a broad spectrum, decrease uh, the or inhibition of cell, uh, cell membrane senses of, of proteins, and antibacterial and anti-inflammatory action. This is the uh, cyclopyroxolamine uh, cream. Um, also, the propylene glycol, it's a keratolytic with broad spectrum antimycotic activity. Propylene glycol, urea lactic acid solution may be beneficial on onychomycosis. Uh, the more important is imidazoles and allylamines. The imidazoles like myconazole dactarine, isoconazole nitrate travogen, tioconazole trocid, clotrimazole canistine, uh, ketoconazole 2% nasoral cream or shampoo. Uh, most of them active also for erythrasma and some gram positive bacteria. And for the allylamines, terbinafine 1% lamizil cream and naftifine 1% exodril cream. So the topical antifungals, there is either mainly against dermatophyte action, against candida, petrase versicolor, and with broad spectrum action. The, uh, against anti-dermatophyte action, white field ointment and castellani paint. Uh, with mainly anti-candidal gentian violet, nystatin, potassium permanganate, with mainly anti petrase versicolor, uh, or selenium sulfide, 2.5%, zinc pyrethion, sodium thiosulfate, and with broad spectrum cyclopyroxolamine pyro uh, cream, and uh, butrafin and imidazoles like uh, miconazole, isoconazole, tioconazole, clotrimazole, and ketoconazole. And also the alilamine, terbinafine, lamizil cream, and naftifen, exodril cream. Uh, we will shift to the systemic antifungal treatment. The systemic antifungal treatment, uh, we can see to the right classification of systemic antifungal according to the site of action. At nuclear level, there is the flucytosine and griseofulvin. At cell membrane level, there is uh, the uh, polines, nystatine, and amphotricine B, azoles, ketoconazole, triazoles like etraconazole and fluconazole, and allylamines, uh, terbinafine. So at nuclear level, flucytosine and griseofulvin, uh, and at cell membrane, the polines, nystatine, and amphotricine B, and the azoles like ketoconazole with, and triazoles, etraconazole and fluconazole, and allylamines like terbinafine. And uh, now we will talk about the, at the nuclear level, the first two, flucytosine and griseofulvin. The, uh, of course, uh, the similarities between human fungi and cellular structure uh, made development of safe without harmful effect of mammalian cell uh, is difficult and slow. First, the flu cytosine. The flu cytosine more a mode of action. It, it is converted to 5-fluorouracil with interfered with nucleic acid senses. Uh, used uh, usually combined with amphotricine B in the treatment of cryptococcal meningitis, candidiasis, chromomycosis, and aspergillosis. Dose 50 to 150 milligram per kilogram per day every six hours for six to 12 weeks. Side effects, bone marrow depression, hepatic dysfunction, and enterocolites. So the flu cytosine mode of action converted to 5 fluorouracil which interfered with fungal nucleic acid synthesis, as we said at the nuclear level, and combined, uh, usually combined with uh, treatment with amphotricine B in the treatment of cryptococcal meningitis, candidiasis, chromomycosis, and aspergillosis. Dose 50 to 150 milligram per kilogram per day every six hours for six to 12 weeks. Side effect, bone marrow depression, hepatic dysfunction, and enterocolites. The second is the griseofulvin. This is a question of, about griseofulvin and causes of failure of griseofulvin. First, we will talk about the pharmacokinetics. Uh, the pharmacokinetics, it is weakly water-soluble and poorly absorbed in GIT. Absorption is enhanced by microcrystalline form and by fatty diet. So it is water-soluble, is even weakly uh, water-soluble, poorly absorbed from the gut. Absorption enhanced by two things, by making it crystalline form and by eating with fatty uh, diet. Uh, it is metabolized in liver, rapidly developed to stratum corneum within four to eight hours uh, of drug intake through mainly direct uh, diffusion, sweating, and evaporation of fluid from cutaneous surface, leading to accumulation of the drug in stratum corneum called wick effect. So the uh, direct sweat and wick effect. 
So it has rapid delivery, four to eight hours, and rapid also elimination, as we, we, we will see, rapidly eliminated from the skin, shortly within 48 to 72 uh, uh, hours uh, of discontinuation of the drug. The drug is uh, not detected in stratum uh, corneum. So therapy should be continued until the infected keratin structure uh, has grown up. The mode of action is fungistatic. It inhibits nucleic acid synthesis. As we said, it is uh, to, uh, in the nuclear level. So it is fungistatic. It inhibits nucleic uh, acid synthesis and inhibits microtubule function. It inhibits nucleic acid synthesis and microtubule function. Indications, it is uh, fungistatic and is effective in dermatophyte uh, infection only. So it is, inf uh, it is effective only in dermatophytes. Not effective in candida or petris versicolor or molds or bacteria. The dose uh, tablet, 125 milligram, 12.5 uh, milligram per kilogram body weight uh, for two to four weeks in tinea cruris and corporis, and six to eight weeks in tinea capitis, and uh, uh, eight to ten weeks for favus and kirian, and uh, six months for uh, tinea anguam or fingernails, and 12 months for toenails. Um, also, we want to add that the micronized form, the dose is 10 to 20 milligram per kilogram, and the ultra-micronized is 5 to 10 milligram per kilogram. So, uh, this is the pharmacokinetics, as we said, the pharmacokinetics of the uh, graziofulvin. Uh, of course, uh, it is a metabolic product of the mold penicillin graziofulvin, and it is weakly, uh, uh, weakly uh, water soluble, uh, weakly absorbed from GIT, and enhanced by fatty, fatty diet and crystalline form, metabolized in liver, uh, rapidly delivered stratum corneum, and rapidly uh, eliminated from the uh, skin. Uh, and also, uh, it should be continued until the all infected creatine structure grown up. Uh, mode of action, it is fungi static. It inhibits the nucleic acid senses and microtropule function. Indication, uh, uh, only dermatophyte. It's not from Candida petrisporum or molds or bacteria. The dose is 12.5 uh, milligram per kilogram body weight according to the disease for two to four weeks in tinea cruris and corporis and uh, six to eight weeks in tinea capitis except favus and kirium, eight to 10 weeks and six months for fingernails and 12 months for two nails. The side effects is GIT uh, symptoms like nausea, vomiting, heartburn, and headaches. These two symptoms, uh, taking the drug with, with meals, redu reduce these symptoms. Also, there is uh, uh, continuous drug eruptions like photosensitivity, urticaria, lichen planus, and exacerbation of and precipitation of lupus erythematosus. So the uh, side effect, GIT symptoms and headache, and continuous drug eruption as photosensitivity, urticaria, lichen planus, and lupus erythematosus. Contraindication in, in uh, pregnancy, porphyria, and hepatic failure. Pregnancy, porphyria, and hepatic failure. The uh, uh, drug interaction, phenobarbitone, and uh, decreases the graziofulvin absorption from the gut, and uh, graziofulvin um, decreases the anticoagulant effect of warfarin and reduces cyclosporin levels and reduces effectiveness of oral, of oral contraceptive pills. So, um, uh, the contraindication pregnancy, porphyria, and, heart, and uh, heart, hepatic failure, and drug interaction, phenobarbitone decreases the graziofulvin absorption from the gut, and graziofulvin reduces warfarin, cyclosporin, and oral contraceptive pills. Causes of graziofulvin failure, either failure of absorption, decreased peripheral circulation, coexisting uh, pathology, uh, secondary infection, idiopathic graziofulvin. Resistance. So there is uh, uh, causes of failure are related to the drug failure of absorption and decreased peripheral circulation, related to the disease, coexisting pathology, and secondary infection, and related to the organism idiopathic graziofulvin resistance. So this is the graziofulvin. As we said again, graziofulvin, pharmac pharmacokinetics, mode of action, indications, dose side effects, contraindication, and drug interaction, and causes of failure. The second drug we will talk about briefly is potassium iodide. Potassium iodide is in the treatment of choice of uh, lymphocutaneous type of sporotrichosis. So it is uh, the treatment of choice for lymphocutaneous type of sporotrichosis may be mediated through uh, antifungal properties of molecular iodine. 
Saturated solution of potassium iodide, one gram per milliliter, is given starting with three milliliter, ten drops, three times daily, up to fifteen milliliter, three times daily, for six to eight weeks after clinical response has occurred. Side effect, nausea, vomiting, parotid swelling, acneiform eruption, dermatitis herpetiformis DH. Contraindication in pregnancy and DH. So the potassium iodide uh, indication in, uh, in sporotrichosis, lymphocytinous type, and mode of action uh, through the molecular iodine, and uh, the drug uh, we give uh, 3 milliliter up to 15 milliliter. 10 drops up to 50 drops three times daily, four, six to eight weeks after stoppage of symptoms or improvement has occurred. Side effect, nausea, vomiting, parotid swelling and acne form eruption from the iodide and dermatitis herpetiformis DH. This is why it's contraindicated in DH and also in pregnancy. Now we will talk about the polines, the nistatine and amphotricin B. They bind to the cell membrane ergosterol, resulting in altered cellular permeability with leakage of cellular content to the and cell death. They bind also, but to a lesser extent, to cholesterol in mammalian cells. So they bind to the uh, ergosterol in the fungal uh, cell membrane and also uh, to a lesser extent to cholesterol in mammalian cells. Uh, this leads to, when it binds to the cell membrane of ergosterol, resulting in altered cellular permeability, leakage of cellular contents, cell death. Uh, nestatine. Topically, for cutaneous candidiasis, uh, orally it's not absorbed from the gut, used only to reduce candida reservoir of, by the gut. Uh, those uh, 100,000 or 200,000 units three to four times daily. Uh, the amphotricin B for disseminated candidiasis and deep fungal infection, those 0.4 to 0.6 milligram per kilogram per day for six to 12 weeks by slow single intravenous infusion. Point, uh, 25 milligram per kilogram body weight uh, per day diluted with 5% glucose. Side effects, fever, nausea, vomiting, bone marrow toxicity, nephrotoxicity, and uh, hypokalemia. So the polines are the nistatine and amphotricin B. They bind, remember, bind to the cell membrane ergosterol and leads to altered cellular permeability, leakage of cellular content, and cell death. Also, they bind to cholesterol or mammalian cells. The nistatine only topically, and if it is orally, it's not absorbed of the gut. We give 100 uh, to 200,000 uh, units three to four times daily. It decreases that candida reservoir. The amphotricin B in disseminated candidiasis and deep fungal infection, uh, 0.4 to 0.6 milligram per kilogram per day for six to 12 weeks by slow single intravenous infusion. Side effect, fever, nausea, vomiting, bone marrow toxicity, nephrotoxicity, and hypokalemia. This is the polines, the nistatine, and amphotricin B. The imidazoles, or the azoles. The azoles actually is the ketoconazole and the triazoles. The ketoconazole and the triazole. The triazoles is the etraconazole, sporanox, and fluconazole, the deflucan. So we are talking about the azoles. They are ketoconazole and triazoles, which is the etraconazole, sporonox, and fluconazole. We will talk first about the ketoconazole. It's an oral broad-spectrum antifungal. It's an oral broad-spectrum antifungal. Ketoconazole or nizoral. It's an oral broad-spectrum antifungal. For mycokinetics, it's well absorbed by oral administration. Gastric acidity is essential, taken after meals. Uh, antacids and H2 blocker like cimetidine and, uh, and uh, ranitidine should be avoided. It is metabolized in liver. Rapidly delivered to stratum corium within three hours through sweat, sebum, and incorporation into epidermal basal cells. Mode of action, similar to other uh, azoles, it is, disturbs ergosterol biosynthesis by inhibiting cytro cytochrome P450 enzyme uh, lanosterol 14 demethylase. Of course, here the mode of action is obvious, the pathway of ergosterol metabolism in the cell uh, membrane, squalene, squalene epoxide, lanosterol, ergosterol. Squalene, squalene epoxide, lanosterol, ergosterol. Squalene, squalene epoxide, lanosterol, ergosterol. The squalene to become uh, squalene epoxide uh, through squalene epoxidase. 
melanosterol to ergosterol through the enzyme cytochrome P450 uh, dependent lanosterol 14 demethylase. Cytochrome P450 uh, dependent lanosterol 14 demethylase. So uh, here the action of the um, uh, triazole, the azoles, uh, on this enzyme, the cytochrome P450 dependent lanosterol 15 uh, demethylase. One of them is the ketoconazole. So the mode of action, similar to other azoles, disturb ergosterol biosynthesis by inhibiting cytochrome P450 enzyme lanosterol 15, 14 demethylase. The indication and dosage, the tablet 200 milligram, uh, uh, severe superficial dermatophytosis, petris versicolor, candidiasis, systemic mycosis, and other diseases. All um, uh, the fungal infections and other diseases like seborrheic dermatitis, petrosporum, folliculitis, cutaneous lesion of writer syndrome, cutaneous leishmaniasis, Cushing disease, and cancer, prostate as steroid inhibition. Severe superficial dermatophytosis, uh, 200 mg per day in tinea crurus and corporis, and tinea capitis for two to eight weeks. In fingernail onychomycosis, six months, and two nail for 12 months. Petrice versicolor, 200 mg per, per day for five <coughs> to 10 days. Exercising and sweating, improved drug delivery to the skin surface, candidiasis, uh, vulvovaginal candidiasis, 400 mg five days. As, uh, the, uh, so the superficial uh, dermatomycosis, the ketoconazole, is one tablet uh, for uh, two to eight weeks. And in trace versicolor, uh, it is one tablet for five to ten days. But for the vulvovaginal candidiasis, it is two tablets for five days. Uh, the hypo uh, uh, and acromia are uh, uh, achlorhydra. The hypo or achlorhydra are common in HIV positive patient. Drug as ketoconazole and etraconazole that requires acidic medium uh, for their absorption should be uh, given with acidic fruit juice to increase gastric acidity. So this is the ketoconazole, pharmacokinetics, mode of action, indication, and dosage. And now the side effects. The important side effects that in addition to inhibit, inhibiting fungal cytochrome P450 ketoconazole may interfere with mammalian cytochrome P450 uh, enzyme system in the adrenal testis, ovary, and liver. So it also affects the mammalian enzyme. So uh, there is also nausea, vomiting, prurites, headache, diarrhea, and rash, and hepatotoxicity, which is very important, 1, 1 to uh, 10,000 or 1 to 15,000 uh, case of cases of idiosyncrasy nature. This is why we don't use it for the idiosyncrasy of the, uh, this drug. This is the ketoconazole. Also, another uh, side effect is uh, inhibition of steroidogenesis, uh, anti-androgen effect. Decreases libido, uh, impotence, and gynecomastia in men and in menstrual irregularities in women. So this is the side effects of the ketoconazole. The ketoconazole, uh, in addition to inhibiting fungal cytochrome P450 uh, So in addition to inhibiting fungal cytochrome uh, P450, uh, ketoconazole interfere with mammalian cytochrome P450 uh, uh, enzyme system in the adrenal testis, ovary, and liver. So causes uh, nausea, vomiting, prurites, headache, diarrhea, hepatotoxicity uh, of idiosyncrasy nature, and also, also inhibition of steroidogenesis, anti-androgen effect, leading to decreased libido, impotence, and gynecomastia. Contraindication, of course, pregnancy and lactation. The interactions, ketoconazole, uh, unlike griseofulvin, actually, it increases plasma level of cyclosporin and potentiate anti agglant effect of warfarin. And, um, uh, but like griseofulvin, in uh, reducing the effect of oral contraceptives. So they increase the plasma level of, uh, of cyclosporin uh, and uh, potentiate anti agglant effect of warfarin and also potentiate suppression of adrenal gland caused by exogenous steroids. 
reduce of the effect of oral contraceptive pills. Uh, rifampicin and isoniazide decreases ketoconazole level. Rifampicin and isoniazide decreases ketoconazole level. Uh, NB avoid the use of azoles with um, terfenadine or uh, astimazole because they cause cardiotoxicity. So again, the imidazoles, the ketoconazole nizoral, it's the first broad spectrum antifungal. It's well absorbed by oral uh, administration. Gastric uh, acidity is essential and um, Metabolize in liver, rapidly delivered to stratum corneum, sweat, sebum, and incorporation of epidermal basal cells. Mode of, in, uh, of action, uh, like other azoles, disturbs ergosterol biosynthesis by inhibiting cytochrome P450 uh, enzyme uh, lanosterol 14 demethylase. Uh, and the mechanism, uh, uh, indication and dosage, the tablet 200 milligram in severe superficial dermatophytes, petrase versicolor, candidiasis, systemic mycosis, and other diseases like seborrheic dermatitis, pitocerporum folliculitis, cutaneous lesions of La Reiter syndrome, cutaneous leishmaniasis, Cushing syndrome, and cancer prostate. Uh, in severe superficial dermatophytes, we give one tablet uh, for tinea cruris and corporis and capitis for two months. And Petris Versicolor, one tablet for five to ten days. For Candidiasis, Valgen and Candidiasis, two tablets for five days. The side effects, it affects uh, the enzyme also in mammalian cells, so it causes nausea, vomiting, paralysis, headache, and diarrhea, hepatotoxicity, idiosyncrasy, and uh, also affection of the uh, inhibition of, in, of steroidogenesis, anti-androgen effect, decreased libido and impotence and gynecomastia, and menstrual irregularities. The contraindication, pregnancy and lactation, interaction, the ketoconazole, it increases plasma level of cyclosporin and potentiate anticoagulant effect of warfarin, and it potentiates suppression of adrenal gland caused by exogenous steroid, and reduces the oral, effect, uh, oral contraceptive pill uh, activity. Uh, rifampicin or isoniazide decreases the ketoconazole levels. Avoid use of azoles with uh, terfin, uh, uh, terfinadine or uh, astimazole because it causes cardiotoxicity. Uh, now you will talk about the triazoles, the uh, atraconazole and ketoconazole. The mode of action similar to all azoles that disturb ergosterol by senses by inhibiting cytochrome P450 uh, enzyme lanosterol 14 demethylase. Uh, due to high specificity, uh, specificity to, of triazoles to fungal cytochrome P, it is no, uh, has no systemic side effects. So first, the atraconazole sporanox, it is a keratophilic, lipophilic, broad-spectrum triazole available in oral form. Uh, it is water insoluble, it is highly lipophilic. So the atraconazole is water insoluble and highly lipophilic. It is uh, water insoluble, rapidly absorbed after oral intake. Gastric acidity is essential. It should be taken after meal or uh, and avoid antacids. It is metabolized in liver, delivered to the skin through sweat within 24 hours. Sebum is the major role and is delivered to the skin surface um, and, and, and incorporate into the epidermal basal cells occur in, at slow rate but helps to maintain the drug levels uh, in the uh, skin for three to four weeks after discontinuation of therapy. It is eliminated for the, uh, uh, from the keratinous tissue, uh, is related to epidermal regeneration, uh, prolonged therapeutic effect. So it is maintained for three to four weeks after stopping of the drugs. It is highly lipophilic with high affinity to adipose tissue, skin, nails, and vaginal mucosa. Indications and dosage, capsule 100 milligram. It is broad spectrum antifungal against dermatophyte yeast and molds, Fortinia cruris and corporis. 100 milligram once daily for 14 days or 200 milligram daily for seven days. Tinea pedis and manum, 100 milligram daily for uh, once daily for 30 days or 400 milligram daily for seven days. Petrase versicolor, 200 milligram daily for seven days. So uh, the uh, yeah, most of them are uh, two capsules uh, per day for uh, two weeks, for one week. Two capsules for one week. Okay, two capsules. This means 200 milligram daily for seven days. And tinea cruris and corporis, also tinea pedis and, uh, and manum, and also petrase versicolor. For onychomycosis, 200 milligram twice daily, 200 milligram twice daily for seven days. And uh, we can give it for uh, each first uh, week of each month for three to four months. This is for onychomycosis, 200 milligram twice daily for seven days for each month of three to four months.
For candidiasis, we give Sporanox 200 mg twice daily for one day for valvulogenic candidiasis, for all our candidiasis, and uh, 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 we give me 100 mg or 200 mg daily for 15 days. And for cr uh, chronic uh, mucocutaneous candidiasis, 100 mg daily for 3 to uh, 12 weeks. We give it also for systemic fungal infection like sporotrichosis, aspergillosis, chromomycosis, blastomycosis for long periods. Side effect is minimal, sometimes nausea vomiting, contraindications in pregnancy, and drug interaction, uh, re rifampicin, isoniazide, phenobarbitone, and phenytoin decrease atraconazole levels, but atraconazole potentiate the effects of phenytoin, oral hypoglycemic drugs, warfarin, uh, digoxin, um, terfenadine, uh, astrimazole, and cyclosporin. So this is the uh, sporanox or atraconazole. We can see here it is a keratophilic, lipophilic, broad spectrum triazole available in oral dose. It is water insoluble but highly lipophilic and uh, uh, mainly on the, some in, in sebum and uh, some in sweat and it also eliminated, uh, slow eliminated even after stoppage for three to four weeks. The indications and dosage for all uh, tinnies and petris versicolor uh, two capsules, 200 mg daily for seven days, and for onychomycosis, uh, 200 mg twice daily for seven weeks of each uh, month for three to four months. And for the candidiasis, we give it as uh, 200 mg twice daily for only one day, and um, uh, oral also uh, 200 mg daily for 16 days, and for cutaneous candidiasis, 100 mg daily for 3 to 12 days. Uh, it is given for systemic fungal infection. So it is given in all types of fungal infection, tinnies, uh, petries versicolor, onychomycosis, candidiasis, and systemic fungal infection. Side effects are minimal nausea vomiting, contraindication pregnancy. It affects uh, strengthen the, uh, uh, some drugs, and they strengthen it, as rifampicin, isoniazide, phenobarbitone, and phenytoin. They, uh, they decrease the, the itraconazole, actually. They decrease the extra... Uh, the, the etraconazole levels, uh, but the uh, etraconazole, they put, he potentiate the effect of phenytoin and hypoglycemic uh, agents like warfar uh, warfarin and warfarin and digoxin, terfinadine, astimazole, and cyclosporin. The second drug is uh, fluconazole, diflucan, subrospectrum triazole, available in oral and parenteral forms. Pharmacokinetics it differs from other azoles in it is, has low molecular weight, higher water solubility, and gastric acidity is not essential for absorption. <clears throat> the majority of the drugs circulate in free form. It has excellent penetration uh, into CSF. It is the only drug, it's very important, it's the only drug that passes the blood-brain barrier. It doesn't undergo significant first pass, bypass, uh, first pass uh, metabolism. Indication and dosage, the capsule 100 milli, uh, 50 milligram, for um, uh, tinea cruris corporis pedis and cutaneous candidiasis, one capsule for uh, each week for three to four uh, weeks. Onychomycosis, one co capsule for uh, per week for uh, about six months. And petris versicolor, two capsules, then maybe repeated after two weeks. The candidiasis, vulvaginal candidiasis, single dose of 150 milligram. And for chronic mucodinic candidiasis, uh, one capsule 50 milligram daily for 10 days. Systemic fungal infection like cryptococcal meningitis because it passes the blood, blood um, brain barrier. Uh, side effects minimal, also nausea, vomiting, headache, erythema multiforme. It's contraindication if there is any uh, hypersensitivity to the drug or acute impaired liver function. And in pregnancy, only in life uh, threatening infections, possible risk to the fetus. Nursing mother is not recommended. So this is the fluconazole. The most important that it is that it passes the blood-brain barrier. And the dose for tinea, crurus, pedis, and corporis, and candidiasis, uh, one capsule for, per week for three to four weeks. For onychomycosis, one capsule for, uh, per week for six to nine months. For petris versicolor, two capsules can be repeated after two weeks. For candidiasis, single dose of 150 milligram. And... Um, for chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis, capsule of 50 milligram daily for 10 days. For systemic fungus infection, uh, this is additional thing because it passes the blood-brain barrier like cryptococcal meningitis. Side effects, minimal nausea and vomiting. 
the allylamines. The allylamines, they are new chemical class of antifungal drugs, uh, has two generations, uh, naftifen exudril, this is topical only, and terbinafil lamizil, both topical and systemic. So we'll talk about the lamizil, pharmacokinetics. It is well absorbed, well distributed, lipophilic, and has biphasic uh, elimination. After oral intake, terbinafine well absorbed, gastric acidity is not essential and extensively metabolized in liver. It's highly lipophilic and keratophilic, uh, resulting in distribution accumulation of adipose tissue and skin. It is rapidly delivered to stratum corneum nails and hair through rapid epidermal diffusion, detected in stratum corneum early as 24 hours after oral intake and in sebum. Major root, it's not detected in sweat. Its elimination from the skin is biphasic, with a faster initial elimination followed by slower secondary elimination that result in continuous clinical effect after stoppage of the drug. Mechanism of action, also it affects the squalene peroxidase. As we said before here, it affects the squalene apoxidase, the allylamines. So it, uh, it, uh, the, the mechanism of action, it disturbs ergosterol biosynthesis at early stage by inhibition squalene epoxidase which, uh, with fungal growth arrest, fungistatic. This leads also to squalene accumulation with the fungal cell death and uh, it is, so later it's fungicidal. So it's fungistatic and fungicidal. It is more selective towards fungal than human enzymes and has minimal effect on mammalian cholesterol synthesis in contrast to azoles has no effect on cytochrome P450 uh, active in steroidogenesis, and hence there is no effect on cortisol or testosterone level even in high doses. So it has um, uh, minimal effect on uh, cholesterol, uh, uh, human uh, cholesterol uh, senses, and also it has no effect on cytochrome P450, uh, for, uh, so no effect on cholesterol and testosterone, and cortisone and uh, testosterone level, even in high dose. Uh, indications and dosage, it's a uh, uh, spectrum of action, many, uh, mainly against dermatophyte action, less effective against candida, and no effect on uh, pedriasis versicolor, but effective topically. Turbinafine lamizil, given one tablet, 250 milligram a day, uh, for tinea cruris corporis, pedis, uh, for two weeks. Tinea cruris corporis, for two weeks, one week course is proved to be effective also. And tinea pedis hyperkeratotic for two weeks. So in all tinea, it is for two, uh, one capsule for two weeks. In onychomycosis, uh, for six uh, weeks in figure nails and uh, 12 weeks in two nails. Side effects, few, dyspepsia, nausea, vomiting, and rash. And here there is the effective uh, efficacy of systemic antifungal drugs. So this is the allylamines, mostly the terbinafine, lamizil tablet, and uh, systemic and topical and also. Pharmacokinetics, after all intake, it is well absorbed, um, it's metabolized in liver, uh, lipophilic, keratophilic, and uh, delivered uh, to stratum corneum and nail and hair through rapid epidermal diffusion and sebum. Elimination is biphasic, uh, first, uh, so has a continuous uh, uh, effect after stoppage of the drug. The mechanism of action uh, through inhibition of squalene epoxidase, uh, so it leads to a risk of fungal growth, fun fungi static, and then lead to accumulation of, uh, uh, of the uh, uh, squalene leading to fungal death, fungicidal. It is more selective to fungal uh, than human enzymes, so minimal effect of uh, mammalian cholesterol synthesis, and no effect on cytochrome P450 uh, 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 active in steroidogenesis, and no effect on cortisol and testosterone level, even in high dose. Indication and, and dosage, it is spectrum only against dermatophyte, but it has no effect on candida or petrase versicolor. For tinea cruris and corporis, we give one capsule, 250 milligram per day for two weeks, and for onychomycosis for six weeks and for, uh, for two fingernail and 12 weeks for two nails. This is the allylamine uh, lamizil. And I will remind you to uh, this 
nice picture of the treatment Chris Ufolden and for new azoles and alila mines treatment for fungal systemic fungal treatment